What up, family? I am severely unprepared for this video. <laughs> um, I'm on my way home now. Give me something to eat. Shout out to Hook Conservative. He's doing the uh, intermittent fasting, and I'm fasting with him. Chose to partner up with him on this, this uh, app. So I'm about to go home and end my fast. I'm pretty darn hungry. But uh, before I get started with this video, I just want to say uh, thank you to the family. Do me a huge favor and please share this video across all the platforms, considering the fact that uh, YouTube have done you know, an amazing job of stifling, stifling our videos uh, and making it where it's very, very difficult to be seen by new comers, new uh, uh, um, subscribers, and, and, and new eyeballs. It's been very difficult, and we're stuck in this. So I'm going to ask that you go ahead and share this as hard as you can if you think it's worthy to share to your people. Don't don't just share because I say so, you know what I mean? Share because you feel that this is worth being shared. But what I wanted to talk to you about is the whole sparing the rod thing, right? When it comes down to the Bible, sparing the rod, you spoil the child, right? What if we expand that from sparing the rod, you spoil the person? I mean, think about this for a second. Sparing the rod, you spoil the person. And I want to touch more on this tomorrow in the morning at six, but I, I, I've been thinking about this and I'm like, well, why is, why am I thinking about this whole spare the rise, spoil the person stuff? Why am I updating this? Well, the reason why I'm looking into updating is because I'm noticing in my own personal life that this is not just a saying for children. This is a saying for all of us. Because think about it, the Bible also says if you can be childlike with him, it'll be you'll be better off. I don't know the exact words of it, but you'll be better off being more childlike with God instead of being all puffed up and I'm an adult and I can do this and I'm, I'm sophisticated and all that other jazz. But you look at it like, listen, he's my father and I need to reverence him as such. Right? He's my dad. He's showing me things and, and, and giving me downloads because I'm obedient. And I've been obedient. Therefore, he's taking care of me. He can also take care of me when I'm being defiant. But it's not as crisp. You feel me? Like it's, 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 there's, there's, there's struggles there because now, you know, he's got to let things happen to you that wasn't really supposed to happen. Now, you know, get you upside the head, get you to pay attention. But what if we're also the same way with the people we're dealing with? What if it's like, okay, for example, let's say you're dealing with your boss, right? And you're dealing with your boss and he's coming out of pocket with certain things because he's pushing you and pushing you, pushing you to do more and more outside of your, your title with no real advancement. Now, one would say this is this is not smart because you need your job. Well, yeah, it may not be smart to be defined with your boss, but you can begin to look for another job where you're not getting where you're getting the 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 the, the, the just deserves of your your expertise of your 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 worth ethic, right? Like I said, I'm going to talk about this more tomorrow in the live. Right? But I just wanted to like play with your brain a little bit about this, right? What if we expand that to people, persons, and not just children? Maybe we can, you know, stop this nonsense that's going on with, you know, the left and the right because we are being more... I don't know. Parents, I guess. Like like 
like I said, I want to I want to work this out tomorrow in the live. So I'm gonna get off because I'm almost home. But I wanna I wanna really really sit down tomorrow morning and iron this out for those of you that want to think about this uh, because I I think there is more to it than just the child aspect. We, we, we think because we're, we're, we're grown adults and we're sophisticated that we don't deserve, we don't need to be chastised or, or, or disciplined or, 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 you know, called out or checked or whatever. I'm a grown man. I'm a grown woman. You don't, you know, you don't need to check me. Well, actually you do need to be checked. And the very reason why you need to be checked is you think you don't need to be checked. And that's pride and pride comes before the fall. So I just want to say thank you for those who are interested in being on the live tomorrow. I do lives every single Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 6 o'clock a.m. sharp, Eastern Standard Time. This is for the early risers, you know, You're going to slay some dragons and stuff like that. But uh, share this video. This is Gary Lamb signing off. See you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock.